Historically, there have been different approaches to screening and vetting people for positions of employment. The, one of the oldest are paper and pencil tests, integrity tests, uh, where people answer questions and from those questionnaires they try to determine if they're honest, if they're going to be good employees, if they'll be suitable in the workplace. They have been around for a long time and people just fill out these questionnaires. There are also voice stress analyzers that people use that purport to be able to assess whether or not a person's telling the truth when asked a series of questions. There are polygraph tests that have been around for a long time, testing current employees, periodic screening it's called, and those have been around for a long time. Each has advantages and disadvantages. The paper and pencil tests have the advantage that they don't require a skilled examiner, they're relatively cheap, they can be done quickly, people usually don't object to taking them, the problem is they don't work. Polygraphs have the advantage that they're pretty accurate. The scientific evidence shows in screening situations that they're probably somewhere between 65 and 85 percent, which is a lot better than the usual interviewer who can be fooled by the biggest liars. You know, the psychopaths are the ones that fool everybody. So you need some way of detecting them. But polygraphs are expensive, time-consuming, and you require skilled examiners. And there's always the potential of bias because there's a human who conducts the test, who interprets the test. And they can be biased by their interaction with that person. They can be racially biased. They can be biased because they don't like the person. They can be incompetent and make a wrong decision. The advantage of eye detect, which has now come along, is it overcomes all the problems I've just talked about. It's relatively inexpensive. It's fairly rapid. It takes 35 or 40 minutes. It's relatively unintrusive. The person just sits in front of a computer and presses two false keys when they read simple statements. They don't even answer out loud. It's all automated, so there's no potential for bias. It's analyzed automatically by very powerful algorithms that give the result in a, a very detailed report, and it's highly accurate. It's as accurate or more accurate than anything else that's available for those purposes. I detect, uh, I think, in the future is going to play a very significant role in the vetting process in all areas of our society. As our society becomes more complex, as the risks of hiring the wrong people become greater and greater, such as terrorism, uh, corruption, and so on, that we need these technologies. And iDetect is ideally positioned to provide the kind of service needed for these growing uh, problems that we have in our society. So I see iDetect as becoming a fundamental part of the whole vetting process in our society, whether it be government or private industry, I see it as a major tool, perhaps the most important tool that we will have.